Hi everyone, it's Monday, well, Monday morning slash afternoon. Isn't it Bubsy? We're just having a little play at the moment. Are you being a good boy? Are you? You're always a good boy. You can show everyone your outfit. Or are you in a strop? Uh, what's that? Tell mummy. Tell mummy. Good boy, thank you. Clever boy, would you like it back, ta? Good boy. Sit up a minute, look. This top is from, it's got fluffies on it. This top is from H&M and these are from Zara Baby. Aren't they? Not that you care at all. Balamori, Balamori. You are so not impressed with me today, are you, dude? <laughs> you actually like that, don't you? So, Ricky's home now, he's just playing with Archie and I've just been doing a little bit of work between sort of when Archie's awake, when he has his little naps, or nap, should I say, because he's had one. Um, I just try and get on with some work on the days that I've got him and he's not being looked after. Today, I've been working hard on the new Dolly Bobo website and all of the new stock. It's taken me a little bit longer than I would have hoped but obviously it's all an adjustment when you've had a baby and I can't sit up and work till 3 o'clock in the morning to get things done like I used to. So um, I'm just editing some new products so there's a little sneak peek for you. Thank you baby! I'm going to shove it onto his legs casually try and stop him from diving off the edge. Are you ready for the bath? Are you ready to have a bath little man? Yeah, yeah. Oh, just catapult yourself forward. You can say hello. <laughs> say happy Monday, Nat. Happy Monday. <laughs> Come on, we're gonna have a bath. You look so cosy in that nice towel. I'm a little bit like a gnome. Hi guys, it's Tuesday. Um, I am getting ready to go to London for a meeting. Can we just take a second to look at this? What the hell is that? It's what my hair looks like when I have just blow dried it and left it up in a bun for the whole next day. So I need to sort this mess out quite quickly. Um, my dad came and picked up Archie a little while ago. So mum and dad have got him for today. So I can go and have my meeting and I'm literally just watching Dance Mums. Does anyone else watch this? I've been obsessed with this for years. Like I used to watch it online before they actually even aired it in this country. So I love it, I've watched it from series one. I'm just gonna curl my hair downstairs. I don't know why I'm showing you that. Like, yeah, I'm gonna curl my hair um, so I can watch the telly because I never get to watch telly anymore. It's so weird, Archie's not here. And when you're a mum, like you're constantly doing stuff for your child and you just think, oh, it would be lovely to have a break. I don't know if that sounds bad, but it's true. And you just think, oh, it'd be so nice just to have a break. And then the minute they're not here, 
you miss them so much and feel guilty that you're not actually looking after them for that moment. So you can never win. Anyway, I'm just going to try and enjoy myself for a couple of hours and then go and pick him up later when Rick's home from work and I'm back from London. Oh, I forgot to show you as well. Book just arrived. I'm so excited to read it. Um, it's, I don't know if you can see it, it's in the sun. It's called Girl Boss, Girl Boss by Sofia Amoruso, who is the um, founder of Nasty Girl. So like, Nasty Gal, Nasty Gal. I can't say it properly because I'm not American, I'm not cool. Um, yeah, I've wanted to get this for a little while. This looks so good. Deja vu of last week, <laughs> the shopping's arrived again with my little helper. And, oh, it's really early to be doing, not doing the shopping obviously, unpacking it and everything. We never get it this early, but um, we ordered it with like 19 minutes to spare last night before you can order it for today because we forgot what well, I forgot. So Ricky ordered it really quickly, so I have no idea what I'm going to find in these bags. I literally don't know. Could be anything, could have clicked on anything. Should we go and find out what daddy bought? Yeah, then mummy needs to wake up a bit, I think. Hello, you really good mood a minute ago. Are you watching the telly now? Okay. Oi, don't ignore me. Don't ignore me. Don't. I've just been writing some blog posts while he's been asleep. And look at this hair. I know everyone said he had a lot of hair when he was born, but this is ridiculous. He looks like he's from a 90s boy band. And where I could like kind of brush it to one side before, it's just impossible at the moment. Can you actually get eight month old baby's hair cut? I haven't asked our hairdressers because I would assume they won't do it but I don't think he would stay still long enough anyway but it's getting in his eyes and it's kind of annoying him and um, I've cut it a few times haven't I myself just a little bit but it just grows it's like mine we just have like long growing hair obviously obviously take after me mister sorry about that oh ready <laughs> now you won't sit down will you just let him pull himself onto it. I love your own face plants, everything. Wow! So clever. Bubba boy! That's so good, Bubba! <gasps> Yay! He's wiggling his bum. <laughs> wiggle, 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 wiggle. How long has he been doing it for, Kay? Like 10 minutes before you ran. Oh! oh. <laughs> Stop looking at me. <laughs> I literally cannot believe it's Friday. We have done so much. Well, not we haven't actually done so much this week in the way of actually doing things, but we just seem to have been really busy. Uh, I've just taken Archie around my mum to see my sister and his cousins because Kate's had quite a stressful day today. We're trying to get work done, so I let her have a nice little evening in the bath, got some chocolate and some wine, and hopefully. Um, it will make her feel a little bit better because she has been really busy and I'm so proud of her with how busy she gets But sometimes she does just need to relax and I don't think she thinks she can because I don't know, like most people because she's a mum She thinks she always has to be there and do things and me and Archie are really appreciative of what she does But she's got to learn to relax. Still going in your walker aren't you? Still going and it's bedtime Just trying to get mummy's chocolate Still bedtime it's your bedtime. What are you doing?
to use my hair because I plaited it last night in the hopes I would get some nice waves this morning but I'm looking a little bit odd because I haven't done anything yet. I'm still doing my makeup. Hello boys. Brown raspberries. Hey, you he's trying to get that cup. And the most exciting news of today is that Kate Middleton is in labour. Um, I don't know about you, but I get very, very excited about things like this, the Royal Family. I, had, I actually have the Royal Wedding on DVD. That's how sad I am. And when Prince George was born, I literally had Sky News on all day long. And I can't stay because we've got a busy day ahead of us. Um, but it's just so exciting to me. I love babies and I love the Royal Family, so it's like the best thing ever. Uh, excuse me? Are you trying to get into the food cupboards? Oh no, there's nothing in there. God, if he's like that, his walk is going to be a nightmare when he's walking. Imagine what Kate's reaction is going to be like when we have a girl. Oh, I'm a faint now. <sighs> Crazy Miley, eh? No, don't you get involved. <sighs> Congratulations, it's a girl, but I'm not that excited as Kate. I'm always wrong. Whatever I think a baby's going to be, this is 100% accurate guess rate. I am. 100% wrong. If I tell you you're going to have a boy, you'll have a girl. If I tell you you're going to have a girl, it'll be a boy. And bro. I've just got back from the shops and uh, we were getting all the stuff I need to do my first ever baking video. I'm really excited. It's going to be up on my channel soon. So that's what we're going to be doing for the rest of the afternoon. I'll give you a sneak peek. All the bits and bobs that we bought. Hopefully it will look a lot nicer when it's all laid out in the video, but yeah, uh, I've never done a baking video before so I'm a little bit nervous but I really hope you like it anyway and I'll let you know when that's going up and everything. Cake is in the oven, I literally feel like I'm on the Great British Bake Off right now. The state of the kitchen is ridiculous and I'm quite stressed but hopefully they'll be alright, I'm just going to go and stare at the oven for about 25 minutes now. Hi guys, I'm so sorry I've been rubbish at vlogging this week, um, it's going to take me a little while longer to get this vlog up than usual, but I don't even know what I'm saying, this week has been like a whirlwind, I've had so much to do, things have been so busy, things that I can't like quite mention yet. I've got a whinging baby that I need to go and feed. And then we're going to go pop over to Blue Water just to get something to eat. It's Bank Holiday Monday now, by the way. Um, so I'm hoping to get this vlog up in the next few days. Please don't be mad at me if it's rubbish, okay? Just stick with me, guys. Please. Because I love you a lot. He kept walking around following me, so I thought I'd better pick What's him up. What's the matter? Are you getting the umpies? He wants his cheesy pie. <laughs> See? Cheesy pie. Come on then. We'll have some dinner and then we're going to go out. His room. Yeah. It's kind of like the same material though as yeah, I know, the one that he's got now, it's just it different colour. Alright. What do you think? Yes or no? Yeah, I like it. I like this little chair as well. this 
week he's saying hi guys we're going out now because Ricky's had a few days off work which is really nice it's um, mainly to help my mum and dad move tomorrow but he's been able to have a couple of days off before so we're just trying to fit in as much as possible around work but anyway I've got some really exciting news to tell you I'm actually allowed to say now that I'm going to be at Beautycon this year in London uh, which is on the 23rd of May and I've been given five pairs of tickets to give away to five of you guys to obviously bring someone with you. So all you have to do to enter is comment in the box below that you would love to go to Beautycon London. Just put whatever you want about it. And yeah, you'll get to come to Beautycon London, meet everyone that's there, go to visit all the stalls and everything. Come and see me, I'll be at the Liz L stand. So that will be really exciting and I just think it'll be a really fun day. So yes, definitely comment below. I think all the other information will be in the description box if you are interested in finding out more. Ricky's just gone in the shop to get something and I thought I would jump in the back of the car because you might want to say goodbye to Archie for this week's vlog. Archie, were you asleep? Did you wake up when the car stops? Yeah, that's the string for the camera, isn't it? Yes. Are you going to say goodbye to everybody? <gasps> Can you say clap, clap, clap? You can't, you can't do clap, clap, clap. <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> Little Daddy. Where are you going to go now? Say bye, everybody. Archie. So I'll see you later. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>